and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds. We're back at it with this, and then there's budgies flying around in the background. Yeah. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how I bathe my birds. Now, the main thing about bathing is that it should be a positive experience for your bird, and you should never force your bird to bathe. Every bird likes to take a bath in their own way and they all have their own preferences. So if your bird does not like a particular way of bathing, for example, if they don't bathe in a bowl on their own, that doesn't mean that they're never going to take a bath. It could also mean that your bird just doesn't want to bathe at that particular time. Mm, Kermit. What are you doing? You should offer your birds bathing opportunities frequently, but there is no set, like, this is how often you should bathe your bird. Instead, you have to let your bird decide, and it's actually, it depends on the species. Some birds come from more drier environments, like Australian birds, and some come from more rainforest environments, and those birds like to take baths more frequently. Birds do need to take baths, and it's a very healthy activity for your bird because they do need to clean their feathers, and it's also really good for hydrating their skin. It also encourages healthy preening and can help with irritation during molting. So if your bird has a lot of pin feathers, letting them take a bath can actually make them feel a lot better, but you should still never force your bird to take a bath. One really common method of bathing your bird is taking your bird in the shower with you, and that is a great method. A lot of birds really like it, but you should never put your bird directly under the stream of water, especially not on the shower floor. There are these videos where you see the birds, they're looking up, their eyes are closed, and it kind of looks like they're enjoying it, but they're really not. When they're looking up, they're actually gasping for air, and their eyes are closed so they don't get water in their eyes. That can actually be really, really dangerous for your bird because they are inhaling water. Instead of putting your bird directly under that stream of water, when you take your bird into the shower with you, you should more let them bathe in the mist, off to the side, on a shower perch, or on top of the shower on a curtain rod. If you're bathing your bird in the sink, do not dunk them right in the sink or right under the stream of water. You should always let your bird choose and look at your bird's body language to see if they are enjoying the bath. If your bird's enjoying the bath, they are not going to sit still with their feathers tight to their body. They are going to fluff up, they are going to flap their wings, they are going to look like they want to get more wet. Some birds will refuse to bathe at first, but keep trying different methods and don't give up. Again, they all have their own preferences just like us. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Ducky first, and Ducky only likes bathing with the spray bottle. So when you're spraying a bird, you wanna spray it over them, and you do not wanna spray directly in their face. So that way it kind of feels like rain to them when you spray it over them. So we're gonna go with Kermit and Pearl next. Kermit and Pearl both really like to bathe in the sink and in the bathtub, so I'm gonna get Kermit's water dish. You wanna come? Good bird! Kermit.
good bird. So Violet normally likes a spray bottle and I was going to spray her, but then she just decided to take a bath in her water bowl in her cage. right here is very excited because there's lettuce. Bluebell only bathes in lettuce. She does not bathe any other way. She only bathes in lettuce.
guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.